Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm a fourth year graduate student in the Trechakova lab at the University of Minnesota in the medicinal chemistry department. So when humans are exposed to carcinogens, these carcinogens are metabolically activated to reactive electrophiles, which can then go on to either form DNA adducts or can be detoxified and excreted from the body. We are curious about one specific carcinogen, 1,3-butadiene. It's one of the most abundant carcinogens found in tobacco smoke. We also know that smokers belonging to different ethnic groups have different risks of lung cancer development. So what we're really interested in is looking at that balance between bioactivation and detoxification of 1,3-butadiene and how it affects the different risk of smoking in these ethnic groups. So my project is to quantify butadiene DNA adducts in a large multi-ethnic group study to look at ethnic differences in butadiene metabolism and bioactivation. So to me personally, this work is really important because I want to be able to have an impact on the health of people around me. So a really long-term goal of this project would be able to take a sample from someone and tell them how likely they are to develop lung cancer and be able to target the high-risk smokers for smoking cessation groups. And that's really a project that I want to be a part of. The biggest kind of unexpected difficulty for me was learning how to work with really small amounts of DNA adducts. So we find really, really tiny amounts of these. They're not present in quantities that you can see. It's not a gram scale. So learning how to kind of work in a separate fume hood and use separate equipment to make sure that my samples aren't being contaminated by the areas in which we synthesize these same DNA adducts kind of difficult to get through to start with to make sure I'm not getting any contamination in my samples. In my previous research, I did a lot of organic synthesis, so working on the milligram or gram scale, like I can see the things that I'm working with where now I'm working with things that are, you know, 10 to the negative 15 times lower. The research environment at the University of Minnesota is really collaborative. Everybody who works in this Masonic Cancer Center building does a lot of similar research to what we're doing. So there's a lot of people who have a ton of expertise in DNA adducts. So whenever my projects go wrong, there's so many people that I can go talk to for advice, for help, and that's been really, really great. Dr. Trechakova is always open for you know, questions or concerns. We have regular project update meetings, and so whenever things aren't going super well, because that happens with research, um, she always has a suggestion at the top of her mind for what to try next, which is very helpful in um, moving the projects forward and having them be successful. So my experiences working here have been really great and I think very helpful for moving forward in my career. I do a lot of work with analytical instruments. So I get to not only process my samples through our HPLCs and mass spectrometers, but I also get to maintain them. So I get to take them apart and see how they work and put them back together and figure out what's wrong with them when they're not working. And I think having those skills of not only knowing how to operate the instrument, but actually understanding how they work will be really, really helpful moving forward in my future career because I'd love to keep working with these type of instruments. I grew up in northern Minnesota and moved to the Twin Cities to do my undergrad studies, and I really love it. I really, really like being outdoors. So biking, hiking, camping are some of my favorite hobbies, and there's so many opportunities to do that here. The biking trails are excellent. There's a lot of great parks in the city and a lot of state parks with really cool hiking trails and camping opportunities within uh, just a couple hours drive. So I spend a lot of time outdoors and it's, it's really great. So the biggest piece of advice that I would like to give prospective students is that you don't have to know what you want to do right away. This is the time to figure out what you're doing. And our lab has a lot of opportunities to do that. So I actually joined the lab with the intent of doing organic synthesis and immediately fell in love with the mass spectrometers and completely switched to analytical chemistry. <laughs> um, but so, like I said, we do synthesis. We do the analytical chemistry. We do some biology work. We culture our own cells. We do our own animal studies. There's lots of opportunities to kind of figure out what area you want to work in. The multifaceted approach of our lab is incredibly unique, um, and we really like to be able to take our compounds from the flask we synthesize them in all the way to the mass spectrometer. We like to be able to put them in our own cell culture um, experiments to test them, and we like to be able to look at these compounds in our own animal studies as well and kind of see the whole project through rather than handing it off to somebody else.